I am Dr. Rafael Gomez. I am from Mexico City, Mexico. I went to the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México in the vet school there at Mexico City. Yes, I graduated uh, from college in 2016. After that, I had to do a professional work. It's called a professional work to get my, my license. And it's basically a series of rotations with different doctors and different practices. Uh, my focus was mainly on equine reproduction. So I was all over uh, Mexico doing some practice in equine reproduction, but at the time, we, we had the opportunity to attend emergencies, to do some uh, lameness and sports medicine there too. Uh, after that, I had to do uh, a project that it was based on embryo transfer. And I, I fell in love with equine reproduction. After that, I got my license and I started working um, along a doctor in Mexico that does mainly reproduction. His name is Dr. Carlos Castro. Um, we did reproduction in thoroughbreds, some Andalusians and basically every mare that comes in the way. But we also did some sports medicine. Uh, we attended emergencies and it was pretty fun. After that, um, I got a job opportunity in Texas at a, a racing quarter horses breeding ranch. And I was there for a whole season. It was a challenging experience for me being out of my country, but I really loved it. And I knew that I wanted to, to go outside of Mexico to, to practice. Uh, after that, I started my own practice by myself. I gained some clients, very, very good clients, and most of them became good friends, uh, based, again, on equine reproduction. But I was doing everything that that came up at the ranches. Then I got the opportunity to come here at McKee Pownell to, to come work with this amazing team. And here we are, having fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my interests come since I was a little kid. My dad is also a veterinarian. He also do horses. And the main interest of his practice was uh, bull fighting bulls. Um, well, cattle. It, it was awesome growing up, being the son of a veterinarian and getting to to know the vet world at that early age. It's it's an amazing experience, and also by the time that you're studying and you're watching your dad do everything that you are learning, it's it's amazing. It gives you a a sense of I have to be like him. I have to be like him, and I. And then by the end, when I finished my career and I started helping him and working uh, some cases with him, it was awesome. It was, it was really awesome. It's, it's the best thing that, that could happen to me because you are doing what you love with the person that you love the most and you're both helping horses and it's, it's, it's amazing. My impressions of Canada were, were that it was going to be cold all year long and that people were really nice and welcoming and that I was going to see some big, big horses. <laughs> the reality has been that Canada is hot. It's hot and humid. Uh, <laughs> it's fun, but... Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. The, the other thing is that, yes, I'm seeing some big horses, bigger than my regular practice in Mexico. And the people had been great. Uh, it's they, that part of my previous thought had not been disappointed. I haven't been disappointed of that because people is really welcoming. They are happy. They are happy to help you, happy to work with you. So it's, it's been amazing. My favorite food has to be the burger from the Schomburg pub. <laughs> Sorry for the ad, but it was really, really good.
I like right now I like to go do tourist stuff so I'm getting to know Ontario and especially Toronto um, I've been to the city and I, I really want to go hiking and paddleboarding and do all these summer activities Well, I, I had a, a really crazy one just uh, just about a month that I started working here. We were doing some pops on a mares and suddenly a lady came and told us that her horse was missing. We didn't pay much of attention, so we're like, no, we didn't we haven't seen your horse here. I keep with my with my Reaper stuff. We were doing the pops and everything. And then she came back and told us that the horse was uh, stuck in a wire fence. In a wire fence. So we rushed there, and I was hoping to see a horse standing stuck in a in a wire fence. Fence, but to my surprise, the horse was laying on the back and actually stuck in a in a wire fence. So we managed to take him out of there. He had only mild lacerations, a big one on the heels. We referred him to, to the OBC. And that was some wild experience. That was like a pretty good welcome to Canada. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as soon as my father knew that I was coming here and started to work in McKee Pownell, he talked to a good friend of his, and he's, uh, he's an artisan in a really small town outside Mexico City. Uh, and he, he made me a belt buckle. It's handmade, it's all handmade, and it, it has the Maki Pauna logo. It's a really special gift because, I mean, I've I'm, I'm always been a, a team kind of guy. And it's it's awesome to having that part of Mexico part of my dad working with me every day